So we're entering the Christmas season, so what better way to do that than creating a Christmas tree? And uh, that's what we're going to be doing today in this tutorial. Uh, you can see how this is going to render in uh, Eevee, and uh, this is Cycles here, and I think uh, they look quite nice. So let's uh, get in and uh, get started on how to do this. Start with the default cube, no need to delete it. Scale it down a bit. Uh, we're going to first create one of these tricks. Uh, the shape is always smaller at the tip. So I'm just going to scale it down like that up there. I think that's uh, good enough. I'm going to also add in some, a few subdivisions. They are then shade smooth. Uh, before I shade smooth, let me show you why I'm shading smooth. So we're going to use a hair system to add uh, the smallest tricks that are on the tree. So I'm just going to use a plane for that. And uh, it also has to have the same shape. So make sure that it's very small. And then at the tip here, make it super thin like that. Uh, then you go to the particle system here. You see how uh, the particles are distributed if uh, the faces are non smooth. Then if I shade smooth, you can see we get a more even distributor, distribution of the faces. And now we want to turn on advanced and reduce the count here to something like 500. Then you can go to the render and then select object, then select leaf. It's going to be our twig. And uh, now we just have to get the right orientation of uh, this here. So if we go to rotation and uh, let's play with this setting. Ah, okay, so normal seems to be working uh, great for this case. Play with the phase just a bit, randomize the phase and randomize the orientation just a bit as well. Okay. We can even start working on the materials right now. Uh, the material is going to be super simple. No need to complicate it. So. Something like that. That's fine. We want the T twigs here to be smaller than the bottom twigs. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to weight mode, weight paint, and I uh, use the gradient tool. So I'm just holding down alt and then dragging up. And if I uh, turn off uh, the particles for a second so that you can see the gradient we have, we have created. So something like that should be okay. Now we can go down here. Let me turn back the particles again. Now we can go back to the, we can go to the vertex group and change the length here to get something like that. Now we can scale this up, but uh, we want the tip to have some particles but are not as long as uh, this one. So I'm just going to go back to the vertex weight and uh, change my gradient. I'm using Alt and dragging up. Uh, that should uh, give us something like that. Then we can convert the particles into actual objects. So convert. Uh, this is what we have. Select all of this and Control J, Control J, into a single object like this. Now we have that. Now what we are left with is that to create the actual tree. So we can go add a plane, go to edit mode, make sure you have all the vertices selected and mark them to the center like that. Now you can extrude like this and now then add a skin modifier that we can start creating our different branches. Don't forget to go to a different view at create branches for that side. Yeah, so we have this, but uh, the tree should be in a kind of a triangular shape. So I'm going to select uh, this, these tips and use Ctrl A to scale them down. Uh, if you turn on proportion editing, you should be able to scale the nearby edges as well. Okay, after scaling things down, this is what I've ended up with and uh, make sure to after you're done, just apply the skin modifier and uh, shade smooth so that we have rounded edges like this. 
Now at this stage, this is where most people add a hair system and use this as uh, the leaf. But uh, if you do that, this is what you will get. It won't really look like a Christmas tree and uh, because the orientation of these tricks is going to be way off and it's going to be very difficult for you to get uh, the right orientation. I'll just switch to cycles here for a second. It's going to take up the shape of uh, the branches, uh, but uh, we want kind of a triangular shape. To get the triangular shape, don't add the particle system to the branches directly. What you can do is uh, create something like a circle. We don't have, we don't need all the 32 vertices. We can use something like 16 and extrude this in a shape of a Christmas tree instead. Like that and then add the particle system to this one. So now if we add a new particle system, select the object, select this uh, trig here. Now if you go to object data, visibility, you can, uh, instancing, you can turn off your instancer in the viewport and the render so that you only see the particles. Okay, so, now we just have to scale this in like this and also play around with the orientation of the particles. Now we have a lot of particles here so it's very difficult to see uh, the orientation. So I'm going to reduce the particles to something like a uh, 100 which is more manageable, maybe 30. So that it's easy for us to see the orientation of the particles. And then go under rotation, make sure you turn on advanced to see rotation and change to let's see normal gives us this orientation. It's still hard to see the direction where these are facing, so I can just go into this and go to edit mode, add a cone, just to temporarily get the right orientation of this. Just like that. So now I can, uh, now I can rotate this around just look at this to get the right orientation of this so i think yeah they should face uh this side so 90 degrees now that i've got the orientation right i can just get rid of this cone which was just a temporary measure randomize the rotation just a bit and uh, give them a random phasing as well and uh, increase uh, the count now all we have to do is uh, play around with the shape here see how this looks far better than just adding the particles directly to the to the branches. Let's use say 500 particles. Now we can just use something like 250 particles and uh, but uh, you see that uh, we still have a few gaps here. All you have to do is uh, select part of this original me this uh, emitter mesh and duplicate it and uh, now we that will just make sure that uh, we also have some particles on the inside uh, there so you can even rotate them when you see gaps like this all you have to do is uh, duplicate this now let's view this in cycles you can see what we have and that's it thank you for watching